you. From live music and military tributes to fantastic fireworks this Saturday, you're invited to party like a patriot in Greer. Here to talk about Freedom Blast at Greer City Park, we have Alicia Taylor um, from Daughters of American Revolution. And introduce yourself for the... Yeah, my name is Emma Mann. I'm with the Emma City of Greer. Emma Mann yeah. is from the City of Greer. And, and you're putting on this spectacular event that's really become a tradition. Um, Freedom Blast started in 2009, really celebrating freedom and the men and women who make it possible. Um, talk about uh, how much anticipation there is ahead of this. Yeah, so it's a really exciting event. This is all about honoring our veterans and those currently serving in the military. Mm -hmm. So we really tr try to hone in on that. Um, we do a big military tribute with it. So um, really focusing on that for this event. It's awesome. And uh, Alicia, this is all about thanking our veterans. What is the role of Daughters of the American Revolution in, in this event? So I'm from the Joyce Scott chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution, mm -hmm. and we're a nonprofit, nonpolitical organization dedicated to historic preservation, mm -hmm. education, and patriotism, and most importantly, honoring those who have served today, tomorrow, and in so the future. We'll, we'll just see you out there uh, among all the festivities, uh, you know, getting to know people and, and kind of sharing this day. Um, there's a military tribute that happens during Freedom Blast that people love. Uh, talk us through those events. Yeah, so we have a big military tribute. So right before that, we will have um, Team Fast Tracks will be here mm -hmm. and they'll be doing it, their big skydiving event. Um, they'll skydive right into Greer City Park. And then right after that, we do our big military tribute. My favorite part of the entire event is the Preston B. Johnson Veterans Walk. So we encourage all veterans to come out. We're meeting at 615 at the amphitheater area there. Um, so all veterans, we're encouraging them to come out for that. And it's so beautiful. We look at the video now and, and it's really what it's about is, is thanking these veterans. Um, What's the what's this crowd like? I mean, this is a patriotic group of people that just wants to come out and do the right thing, right? Yeah, definitely. And we have a bunch of different military organizations <laughs> that'll be there, so we really encourage our crowd to come out for that. Um, it's a fun event. Um, we'll have live music there as well. We have the Jake Bartley um, band as well um, coming out. We'll have plenty of food vendors, over 20 different food vendors that'll be there, a kid's zone, and fireworks, of course, at 10. And there's some there's some fun stuff in here, too. The event schedule shows a rib eating contest, yes. I noticed. Have, <laughs> how do those go? Yes. So we have our veterans that actually um, participate in that. So a, l a lot of our different military organizations that'll participate in it. It'll be um, sponsored by Texas Roadhouse. Okay, yeah. so that'll, that'll get messy and fun. Um, yeah. Any other tips for just making the most of the day out there? Should we be bringing lawn chairs, blankets? Def what do you tell people? Definitely recommend bringing lawn chairs, chairs. Yeah, um, definitely bring your blankets for this event. Um, usually get about twenty to 25000 out for this event, so we're excited. Wow, it's, yeah. it's huge, and concessions will include the food vendors, beer sales, yes. um, the headline band, the, Bar the Jake Bartley band you mentioned, and those fireworks ending the festivities. Um, is this the biggest display in all of the state or, or something like that, right? I believe so. We like to think yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> so. So it's probably bigger and better each year. Um, what's it like for you on, on this night to, to look around and see what's, what's been put together and, and all the people? Yeah, it's just really exciting to see the community really come together. We see everyone from the upstate really come out, which is great. I love seeing people from different areas come out for this event. It's yep. really great. Um, also, the Kids Zone, amusement rides, blood drive happening. Um, anything else you want keep people to keep in mind just about the, maybe the importance of this event and, and why this is a great opportunity to come and say thank you? Yeah, so you can see in front of me, this is a Freedom Lantern. The Daughters of the American Revolution are awarding this to three veterans. So oh, wow. this is this is by nomination, public nomination. And this is an heirloom meant to be passed on to the veterans' families to remind them to keep it lit on major holidays, patriotic holidays, and continue to tell their story of how they served. And that's what it's about. We always want to want to tell those stories and share that history. Um, anything else about the celebration that you want us to uh, keep in mind before we go as people plan their trips out to see you? Yeah, just come out. Um, it'll be this Saturday, June 29th from 6 p.m. to um, about 10.30. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, definitely come out for the entire event. Like I said, I highly recommend coming to see that military tribute early it on. It is a tradition. Thank you yes. so much. Freedom Blast at Greer City Park this Saturday, June 29th from 6 to 10.30. Uh, rain or shine, a lot of great fun out there to be had.